Thomas and Bertie's Great Race. Thomas was waiting at a junction when a bus arrived. Hello, said Thomas. Who are you? I'm Bertie. Who are you? I'm Thomas. I run this branch line. So you're Thomas. Ah, oh, I remember now. You got stuck in the snow. I took your passengers and Terrence the tractor pulled you out. I've come to help you with your passengers today. Help me, said Thomas. I can go faster than you. You can't, said Bertie. I can, huffed Thomas. I'll race you, said Bertie. Their drivers agreed to the race going ahead. The station master said, are you ready? Go! Thomas never could go fast at first, and Bertie drew in front. Why don't you go fast? Why don't you go fast? Called Annie and Clarabelle. Wait and see, wait and see, hissed Thomas. He's a long way ahead, they wailed. But Thomas didn't mind. He'd remembered the level crossing. There was Bertie, fuming at the gates, while they sailed gaily through. Goodbye, Bertie, called Thomas. After that, the road left the railway so they couldn't see Bertie. Then they had to stop at the station to let off passengers. Quickly, please, called Thomas, and off they went again. Come along, come along, said Thomas. We're coming along, we're coming along, sang Annie and Clarabelle. Hurry, 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 panted Thomas. Then he looked ahead. There was Bertie leaning on the floor. Oh, dearie me, oh, dearie me, groaned Thomas. Steady, Thomas, said his driver. We'll beat Bertie yet. We'll beat Bertie yet. We'll beat Bertie yet, echoed Annie and Clarabelle. We'll do it, we'll do it, panted Thomas. There's a station. Then he heard Bertie. Goodbye, Thomas. You must be tired. Sorry I can't stop. We buses have to work, you know. Goodbye. Oh, dear, thought Thomas. We've lost. But he felt better after a drink. The signal dropped. Hurrah, we're off. Hurrah, we're off. As they crossed the bridge, they heard an impatient pop, pop. There was Bertie waiting at the traffic light. He started with a roar and chased on after Thomas again. Now Thomas reached his full speed. Bertie tried hard, but Thomas was too fast. Whistling triumphantly, he plunged into the tunnel, leaving Bertie toiling far behind. We've done it! We've done it! Panted Thomas. We've done it! Hooray! We've done it! Hooray! Chanted Annie and Clarabelle as they whoosh into the last station. Everyone was there to celebrate Thomas's victory, but they gave Bertie a big welcome too. Well done, Thomas, said Bertie. That was fun, but to beat you over that hill, I should have to grow wings and be an airplane. They now keep each other very busy. They often talk about their race, but Bertie's passengers don't like being bounced like peas in a frying pan. And Sir Topham Hatt has warned Thomas not to race at dangerous speed. So although you and me, they would like to have another race. I don't think they ever will. Do you?